How's it going, everyone? Easy Mouthforge here, uh, bringing you something a little bit different of uh, doing a team builder video for the match that is going to be happening this weekend. In fact, it's going to be happening tonight. So, as you will see, I think at the beginning of last week's video, when that posts later today, uh, you will be seeing, or you should be seeing, the fact that for this next battle we are choosing each other's teams that we've actually already chosen and so here you do see the team that my brother Jeremy3612 is going to be bringing so he is going to be bringing Mewtwo, Kingler, Frostlass, Haxorus, Braviary, and Drapion. Now I do expect him to be bringing the all-out attack version of Mewtwo, so it'll have a lot of special attack, a lot of speed investment with Life Orb. And uh, Kingler is probably going to have Sheer Force. We are allowing breeding and hidden abilities. The Kingler that was in his box did not have Sheer Force at Hypercutter. But we'll see if he chose to breed it or not. If not, I do expect it to still run uh, stuff like Life Orb. And probably Carry Crab Hammer, maybe Swords Dance. Just to get that extra boost going. Maybe even Earthquake. If uh, Kingler even gets Earthquake, that I am not. 100% sure of, but I do think it will have Liquidation or Crab Hammer. One of those two moves. And so he is going to be bringing Frostlass as well. And I expect this to be a physical attacker just because of Frostlass that was in his box. He didn't plan on actually breeding at the time. And it was uh, set basically for the physical side. So I, I'm expecting this to probably be Choice Banded and run probably the Poltergeist move, maybe even Trick and some things like that. And then for the Haxorus, that could also be Choice Band, if not, uh, maybe Life Orb or maybe Choice Scarf even. If no Choice Item. It, it probably will carry Swords Dance just to get a little boost, maybe even, maybe even Dragon Dance if he does want a speed boost. And I expect it to probably have Poison Jab, uh, probably Earthquake, and most likely for its Dragon Stab, I would say Dragon Claw. And the Braviary. He is going to be bringing Braviary <clears throat> every time he has brought Braviary before. It has been Normal Gem with Retaliate. I do expect that to be brought again. If not, I am expecting Choice Scarf with U-Turn, Roost, uh, Brave Bird, and not really sure what he would run for this fourth move, if not retaliate. Close combat, that, that's most likely what it is. And if he doesn't bring U-turn and it's not scarfed, then he probably has ret retaliate and still carrying close combat. And... He is going to be bringing Drapion. I imagine this is probably going to be a Sword Stance set with the Sniper ability and Scope Lens. Could also run Quick Claw, maybe even Choice Scarf. If it is a speed variant, uh, there are some things that I can use to kind of deal with that, which you will see here pretty soon. So, let's get started with my team. And the first one on the team is Alolan Ninetales. Now this is the wrong sprite. I didn't actually mean to bring this sprite, but to put the sprite on here, but uh, I did. 
didn't realize at the time that I was looking at Gen 7. And now, what Alolan Nine Tails does is basically this is for the Drapion when that comes in. And Alolan Nine Tails can pretty much hit anything that he has except for the Mewtwo, I believe. Because we are going to be carrying the Kevia Berry for that poison resistance. And Moonblast, Freeze Dry, Dark Pulse, and Psychic with a Timid Nature Snow Cloak ability, unfortunately. I did not bother to breed for the Hidden Ability one. But we do have 252 AVs in Special Attack, <clears throat> 252 AVs in Speed, and 4 EVs in Defense. And we are naturally outspeeding Drapion, but just in case he does bring Quick Claw or Choice Scarf. We do have the Kebia Berry to be able to take at least one hit from that Poison Jab. And then in turn, we can go for a Moonblast and hope for a crit, I guess. Because we're not going to be able to one hit him, one hit KO him, but we can try. We can definitely try, otherwise it's a two hit KO. And, I mean, since we're faster, we should kill. We should definitely kill, unless he brings Choice Scarf or Quick Claw. And Quick Claw happens to activate twice. And then, moving on to Gengar. So, basically... With Gengar, we are bringing the uh, Choice Specs Trick variant. A Timid Nature with 252 EVs in Special Attack, 4 EVs in Special Defense, and 252 EVs in Speed. Now we do carry Sludge Wave, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Trick as well, which I did mention. And basically, this really really hits quite a few things pretty hard um, it can take down the frost last has a guaranteed one hit KO with shadow ball however frost last is speed tying us and so if they get the speed tie they can one hit KO us as well with either triple axle which I expect to be Bront or poltergeist so, hopefully that won't be the case, but we will have to see, I guess. Otherwise, we do also hit a... We also do take out his Braviary. We have a chance to live a Brave Bird. It's not a very big chance, but we do have a chance to live one. And if we do live one, then we just pretty much go for Sludge Wave and hope that it hits and hope that it KOs. We have a chance to KO. It is very, it was very, very tiny. It is like, I think it was like a 18% uh, chance to one hit KO. But Sludge Wave will be the play if we do face off with Braviary. And yeah, for the Drapion, we really don't want to face that with Gengar at all. Uh, Mewtwo, we don't want to face that. But the Frost Slash and the Prey Berry, we can take with Gengar. Alright, now for the next one, we have Urshifu. We are using the Surging, Strike, Surging Strikes Water Variants. And basically, Urshifu is going to also be for the Frost Last, although it can help us deal with uh, the Drapion as well. And possibly even the Kingler. Yeah, we can, we can deal with the Kingler too, I believe. 
But basically, we are bringing the Jolly Nature, Unseen Fist ability, obviously, with the Choice Band. And we are running 252 EVs in attack, 4 EVs in defense, and 252 EVs in speed. With Surging Strikes, Close Combat, Iron Head, and U Turn. And now we, may, we, we mainly KO things with Close Combat and Iron Head. Uh, Frost Last goes down for sure. Even though it is faster than us, it has to 2 hit KO us with Triple Axel. Approximately. And we, can, we should be able to close combat the Drapion. And we close combat Braviary and take that out pretty easily. Uh, the Kingler as well. So yeah, there's that. And next we have Centiscorch. And for Centiscorch, let's see. Mainly bringing that for the Mewtwo, because Mewtwo has to 2 hit KO us with Psychic, unless they get a crit. And then in turn, we just use Leech Life, which is a guaranteed 1 hit KO. So we do have Life Orb with Flash Fire ability, Adamant Nature, 252 EVs in attack, 4 EVs in defense, and 252 EVs in speed. We are carrying Fire Lash, Leech Life, Power Whip, and Knock Off. And again, the Leech Life, uh, we do have that on there. Basically to deal with the Mewtwo, because we're going to take a hit, and then we're going to dish one back. As long as we don't get crit. So that's the answer to Mewtwo. And then Barbacle, Barbaracle, however it's pronounced. Uh, this one is a pretty good set. It is the Shell Smash set with the Jolly Nature Tough Claws. Not Tough Claws, it's not Tough Claws. It is Pickpocket. We are not having an item on this because we are Pickpocket ability. So we are going to Shell Smash in front of the Braviary since it has to 2 hit KOS. After the Shell Smash, we do get that speed boost, which will make us faster. And then in turn, we can one-hit KO it with either Liquidation or Stone Edge. So that'll be nice. And since we do not have an item, we would probably instantly pick up the Choice Scarf once we make that connect. But, uh, you know, from there... Depending on what we get locked into, we can pretty much start sweeping. Alright, and so the last one on our list is Alolan Exeggutor. And Alolan Exeggutor is really hard to bring and prep properly for this. But we do have Calm Mind. We are running uh, Harvest Ability with Citrus Berry. Modest Nature. We have Giga Drain, Hypnosis, Dragon Pulse, and Calm, Calm Mind. And we have 100 EVs in HP, 200 EVs in Defense, 200 EVs in Special Attack, and 4 in Special Defense. Now, the reason why the EVs are so widely spread out is just to allow us to at least live one hit from something because we are kind of slow we are not doing trick room although we are doing a double battle so since the whole executor executor is so slow we need that calm mind and that boost in defense and hp from those extra evs going into them but if we can get up to plus two Calm Mind, uh, we basically can just start bringing in the uh, Giga Drains and Dragon Pulses on pretty much everything except the Mewtwo. 
which is faster than us still, and can one hit KO us. But there's the set. And that's the whole team. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave a like on the video. Also, subscribe to both of our channels. And we will see you guys in the next one.